If I don't look at my schedule before I come into work every day, I'm always presented with a great opportunity. And the other day I had one of my elite athletes come in. He rides his bike 3,000 miles a year. 3,000 miles. The guy's got beautiful muscles, he's chiseled, he's in great shape. And he asked me, exactly how much protein should I be eating? I'm thinking of approximately four chicken breasts a day. I thought, wow, that seems like a lot of protein. Um, and actually, as we discussed it, his concern was more about the amount of energy he was putting out and exactly what would he need to rebuild muscle. Well, that's awfully, awfully high. And chicken breast, as good as it is for you, because I think it's a good food, uh, you want to limit that. You don't want to do that much. Even really good organic chicken, too much is too much. I was reminded this morning, I went for a run, my son, who's eight years old, said, come on, Dad, let's go. And she puts on his five finger shoes and I go out and we're, we're kind of barefooting and running. And he blows by me for about maybe 15 or 20 seconds. Slowly I lope along at my eight minute mile and catch up with him. And he said, wait, Dad, wait up. And then I look, whew, he zips by me again. His metabolism is fast, it's white hot. He's just moving and he's burning through those calories. He can eat a donut for breakfast and burn it right off. Now, I couldn't do that. Each person is different. And he reminded me, my metabolism is different than his. Is it better? No, it's just different. He's eight years old. He's burning things up. And me, I'm on the slow burn. And it works for me. So my dietary intake should be different. My elite athlete, he's burning through a lot of calories with a 3,000 mile a year workout program. For me, I need to give him the opportunity to do good carbohydrates, brown rice, beans, those kinds of things, and a lot of meat. I mean, he may, may need as little as 200 grams of protein or as much as 2,000 grams of protein. Depends on him, depends on his response, depends on his muscle recovery. The only way we can discover that is to work together. I need to instruct him what he needs to look for. Then he needs to work with me to make sure that I'm giving him advice that fits him personally. We look at his blood studies, his thyroid, all of his blood parameters to make sure he's working at his peak. And when all of that's in place, he is going to thrive doctor with the patient working together, better together.